So we're back in Ireland as part of my international tour offering free consultations to all of you guys, our incredible audience. And in this session, we're working with an American Pitbull Terrier, an incredibly confident, independent American Pitbull Terrier who has become a nightmare to walk. He's so strong and he can pull so badly that the owners are starting to get concerned of where those behaviors might take them if we don't get it addressed quickly. Yeah, well, we got him when he was six months old, about okay. a year ago, from someone who couldn't take care of him anymore. Mostly the pooling that yeah. we're struggling with, and especially if he sees another, like right yeah. now, you can tell. Could I just quickly ask, again, none of this is a test, don't worry, just to kind of, now he's fixated, just start walking away for me. Nothing. Okay, good. He doesn't usually do that, okay. <laughs> And then that seems like his that nose it. is always on the ground yeah. that's and he's always in front of us we're moving to the netherlands in a few okay. weeks so we can practice with a prong collar or anything because they're illegal in there over they're there and there. i okay. get like a twenty thousand euro fine okay. or three years in jail so <laughs> that's why we got the slip lead because yeah. we really do want to get that down so. so they're legal here but where you're moving that yeah illegal. so now with a lot of more soft and passive dogs you guys know that the slip lead is my favorite tool but when i encounter a very confident independent potentially leaning into the dominant side of the scale I like to level up my tools and one of the best tools for dogs like that is the prong collar now these owners were really interested in using that prong collar because they have watched my videos they've educated themselves brilliantly on that it isn't a mean tool it's not a tool to cause harm to our dogs but it's a wonderful tool to be able to communicate to dogs like this strong minded hard independent confident dogs it's a wonderful tool but unfortunately they're about to move to a country, they're taking the dog with them, but they're about to move to a country where prong collars have been made completely illegal. So as much as I knew I could solve this case, this would be a bread and butter five to 10 minute case of a prong collar, we had to step back down to a slip lead and do the best that we could to build engagement and help the dog understand that it must follow our guidance and direction to keep him safe, to keep him under control, because if there are ever any issues with pit bulls, it is always the pit bull that's blamed and that always ends up in the pit bulls being put down. So the idea is that this tool always stays loose and if it goes on, the pressure goes on, it should instantly go off. If it doesn't go off, it's because he needs to learn how to shut that pressure off. And we do that through training. And the more it gets to the point, of that's where you kind of just see those tiny little, little bits of pressure. It's not a correction, it's just a, a way to communicate with him then. If he complies, I'm gonna pay him. If he doesn't, it'll just be that minor, that's a little pop, 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 not pulling. Just, mm. again, it's that pressure yeah, that's on, pressure what we have off a, thing. an issue with. It always ends up in pulling because it's super hard to get that quick pop. Yeah, kind of classic, it's like playing a guitar the theory of it is you're just plucking strings but if i give it to you, you, you it's going to sound atrocious but somebody that's practiced mm. can create magic and it's the tight it is tiny little intricacies of it so this is what i was waiting for was him to not be focused on the treats so again nelson good nelson yeah good boy good boy good boy good yes good so that was a beautiful example there has he ever acted like that before where he kind of panics a little bit? Yeah, that happened because of a correction, which suggests to me he's never quite felt it right before because mm. he panicked. Now, some people think that's mean, but what just happened there was he panicked, he froze, and then he complied and the pressure turned off. So what just happened in half a second was incredibly powerful because he learned how to turn the pressure off. So when it, Nelson, so he's going to comply much quicker now, which is bodes very well for the slip is long story short, Nelson. Good, yes, good boy. So in those situations, and again, this is where time is. So if you don't do anything here, and I go off to sniff, now all of the pressure, so here, it's going round, mm. and now here, it's all here. Mm -hmm. You see, and we're talking yeah. inches. So you need to get into the habit, and this will happen, and he's doing it on the harness, but this is where I love harnesses, because you make it very different. Mm. If you're on this, you don't have a pull. If you're on a harness, go and pull, run, play, sniff, and explore. That's, that's what I use harnesses for. I mm. never walk a dog on a harness, but if a dog doesn't have perfect recall or remote collar train, sweet, long line on the harness, that means go and be a dog, but I've got you under control. Mm. All we're gonna do is I wanna do it kind of static now and it's just going to be pop pop so if you do one now it was very much kind of pop until you felt tight and then you pulled 
and then let go. I really want it almost to be like a on okay, a lead. So, so that. better. So the way you did it was kind of, you pop nicely and then kind of did that. Okay. So you kind of popped and pulled at the same okay, time. So it just, that was it. Okay. So now, so that was a level 0.1. So do that again, but a bit harder, better. Okay. That was a 0 0.3. Let's try and get yeah, to a I one. Just Zero, <laughs> you, I'll tell you if you hurt me. Yeah, really okay. nice. That's about a one. It went on and off. So if I'm going this way, your pop is that way. Okay. Yeah. And, it, and let's start putting a pop pop on it. Harder than that. Better. Because he's starting to understand the theory of mm. pressure, that's going to steer me into you. Did that feel good? It did. It to me, way. it looked beautiful. If you're happy, I'm happy. There mm. is no right or wrong way. There's the right way for you and whatever you tell me that is. If you came to me today and went, I do not want to work with prongs, don't even want to work with slips. I'd be like, okay, cool. The realistic expectation is that it's going to take mm. a lot longer and where you can get to will be limited, but I'll help you however I can. So that was another incredibly fun consultation as part of our international tour. If you want to know how you can get yourself a consultation as part of that tour, we're going all around the world. Come and follow me over on Instagram because that's where all the information is. That'll be linked down in the description box below. And the reason that we're able to go on a worldwide global tour to help all of you guys, to thank you for all of the support that you give us is because of all the work my incredible team does at Fenrir. Because we're able to create industry leading products and services and because you guys are awesome enough to support those products and services. So if you want to know more about what we do at Fenrir, again, the links will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new because I can't wait to see you on the next video. Video.